Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is BlueFam09, and today uh, we are... Uh, two things, actually. One, new Minecraft skin. Uh, yay. Number two, this is the second episode of the Phantom Talks YouTube series, and my second guest is... KQ4N, also known as Kochi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my Minecraft name hasn't been updated in like six years, and I don't know how to change it. Yeah. Same with the skin. Yeah. Thanks for your understanding, guys. No, I... <laughs> I personally love the skin. I don't know why. It, it's, it just gives off so such 2020 Minecraft vibes. 2021. Modern Minecraft and it's vibes. Actually like, it's actually like 2014 Minecraft exactly. vibes. Exactly. So it's win. just amazing. So, this is the interview room. Uh, like my seat. <laughs> yeah, 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 we got we got new mic test. Mic test, one, two. Okay, good. Good. Mic, mic, mics. Mic, mic, mics. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, would you like to get started? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay. So, we'll start off with the basics. What is your YouTube channel name? So, my channel is called Tyler Kochi. So, Tyler C-O-C-C-I. Pretty basic. Yeah. Uh, oops, I just started looking at myself. That's not <laughs> the point of this. <laughs> um, what would you say is your main sort of content now? Because I know it's yeah, changed a so lot. Yeah, <laughs> so... Exactly. So now I'm now I'm doing I've sort of shifted to find my niche and I'm doing more productivity lifestyle and sort of ways that I can help people specifically teenagers and young adults be really productive and get things done in life. So like I find a lot of people get really distracted and procrastinate with things they don't want to do and they have these things they really want to get done. So my goal is to try and help you get done what you need to get done in as efficient of a time as possible. Cue applause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a really good goal, honestly, because I know there's a lot of people struggling with that, especially with online school. It's just there's so know, much yeah. of a possibility to be like, oh, yeah, class is good and all, but did you <laughs> know that there is a 12-hour YouTube rabbit hole that I could go down? <laughs> exactly. It's very it's very yes. bad, but everyone um, falls down it. <laughs> exactly. Now, I feel like this would be a good thing to... And what has been some of your other sources of content that you've done? Yeah, so like I've done, well, obviously I used to do a lot, like before I really got into like productivity space and sort of like self-development, I was in, I did a lot of travel content. So I was going places whenever I went on vacations, I'd make videos. That's sort of how I got into like creating videos in the first place, um, like, you know, through trips and stuff. But um, yeah. I did a lot of that and, you know, it's sort of been kind of hard now because of, uh, the current situation i know we don't really mention <laughs> yeah. it in youtube videos yeah, yeah. but uh, we, you know the current the situation around it's kind of hard to travel we call exactly. it the big sticky sure. the big yeah. sticky you know <laughs> yeah so that's what i used to do a lot but it sort of uh, shifted also amusement parks definitely uh that was a big one too but that also sort yes. of goes with travel <laughs> yeah um i i seen that you've done a lot of all pov water slides especially with Great yeah Lodge. <laughs> when i would travel places yeah of course was your inspiration or what introduced you to those types of content to to like the first type of content that i started uh, making yeah like what gave you the idea for the productivity oh that stuff so it's always sort of been something in the back of my mind that i've been interested in and done myself and i was at the point where i'm like oh my gosh i'm making really general videos and i find that i don't have like a core audience coming back for each one of them you know, they're just like yeah. all like random people that are coming in from search. And I sort of wanted to be at the point where I could build an audience that would come back to each and every video and like actually enjoy it for like, you know, for me, for what the content is. And they could expect something every time. So I found that just with travel and, uh, you know, random videos in general, I wasn't able to find that. But as I sort of, you know, I thought, what can I do that I can teach that I do myself? And I'm like, oh, yeah, being productive like getting being efficient and things like that and i sort of just translated that into making videos and people love it i mean that's amazing yeah i didn't even think of that that i i noticed a lot that um you have people scared about but yeah i thought that yeah it's a mm -hmm. lot of searches mainly it's not people who are oh let's see what the there's people looking for all point of views for the water slides but there's not people exactly who are looking for all the resorts sometimes because uh, yeah. youtube rabbit holes uh don't usually go for <laughs> oh i want to look at a tour you want to look for the water slides exactly you want the excitement and i find that like with the productivity stuff a lot of people 
don't actually search for it, but it's something they find on their like suggested page. And I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds interesting. I, I could use this. And then yeah. they click on it and that's sort of how I find uh, quite a few people. Yeah. Um, no, uh, I guess and we'll do a, what introduced you to the travel slash coaster type of con? Yeah, so do we want to go into how I sort of started making videos as a whole? Because I know it was one of the it. things you wanted to talk about. I know, I know you posted okay, a video so, on your channel, but for new people, I'm yeah. to hear. Yeah, this is an interesting story, so I'll try and summarize it as best I can. But pretty much when I was nine years old, I'm, I'm turning 15 next week now. So Congrats. when I was nine years old, I won a, well, I entered a contest, and I went through this whole big thing where we had to make like an audition video for this contest we were entering to win a free trip basically through sunwing it's one of the biggest like canadian airlines it's like the jet blue for canada but basically what we did was we won that contest and we got sent to mexico for free all expenses paid with a photographer videographer and producer and pretty much what happened was i just fell in love with the whole like experience of being on set and like you know watching them like take the story and make it into a video and i just found that it was like the coolest thing ever so i went back i started like i got a camera and i started making i started doing photography actually and over time that started translating into you know videos because they kind of go hand in hand and then uh it just kept going and it started with travel videos and then it moved into all these other different things yeah and now you have like 2,000 subscribers i saw you just reached that today yeah i hit i hit 2,000 <laughs> subscribers yesterday oh, um and now congrats. i'm at two point i'm at 2,000 22 right now <laughs> that's really good that's yeah. really good wow thank you yeah i entered the giveaway as you saw yeah the giveaway will be i'm sure it'll be uh i don't know when you're planning to release this video but the giveaway should be out on tuesday on tuesday yeah from it, the day we're filming this video yeah it uh, might be the, up by yeah. then depending on uh if i can get homework and then uh actually all work depends this yeah yeah it all it all depends all depends <laughs> Um, yeah. And now, I, oh, I also noticed that you did some, like, vlog stuff, too. Yeah, like, I always, like, what I'm still trying to do is incorporate the vlog kind of feature, because I feel that I adds like a lot that. of personal, yeah. you know, the personal touch. Because I feel, people, what people do is they come to YouTube for a connection. They could find, if they wanted to just get the information, they could read it in a blog post, <laughs> or, like, on a website. Yeah, they could But Google you come it. to YouTube for really, for, a, yeah. The people subscribe because they have a connection to you as a creator and they really just want it like they like you as a person they like your personality so why not show that to them in the vlog while they're still consuming the information that they came in for right yeah sort of like a casey style and it's like a good way for you to also show like do a little bit of fun film things too because i remember one exactly like you said okay we're gonna take a quick hockey break and then, then yes they went out and you did a little <laughs> bit of filming there outdoor activity break yeah exactly. that's good and then we could go our quick little B-roll shots, you know, just like have some fun with it. It just gives a lot of flexibility opposed to the just sitting at a desk talking shots, right? Yeah, exactly. Like how I was moving around just because I was like, I don't want it just to be this because, I mean, it is like a podcast, but like, I don't yeah. want it to be all that. I want it to be, I like the thing of like, it's an interview. That's what it Yeah, is. exactly. That's, it's like that's a podcast, it it's that so it's longer. Minecraft is uh, for uh, people talked about this last time. It's longer because it's a podcast. Uh, that's mm -hmm. really it. Just play it in the background while you're eating lunch. <laughs> yeah, treat care. this as a podcast, guys. Yeah, you're not missing anything visually. It's room with a wall and then two QB. And then our, our microphones. And microphones. Our microphones on the table. <laughs> on yes. an interestingly built table. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then. Uh, why I chose Minecraft actually as the base is, um, just so that way it's like, it's a, in the, in the big sicky area, era, oh, almost goof yeah. there, um, <laughs> basically it allows me to have a representation of the person, even though uh -huh. we're like, we can't meet we're far, person we're to person. Not, also, we're, we're not in person. <laughs> yeah, we're not in person. <laughs> we're a lake away or so. And, yeah, exactly. Too. Um, okay. But oh yeah, and also just um people like anonymous. But uh you've never been anonymous, have you? On your I've channel? never. My my first ever video was a video I made in Jamaica, like my first ever YouTube video on my channel. <laughs> um, I my face was loud and proud in that. <laughs> exactly. 
I think in every video your face is in it, except for I. There might be one or two. Except for one video, there's one yeah. or two videos that were just like voiceovers. Yeah, I think I've seen. But exactly, it goes back to that personal connection. It lets people connect. It lets them see who yes. I am, right? And people have their reasons for not showing, but like, like I don't see a reason that like I'm not trying to hide anything. I like showing yeah. you guys. I like when people come up to me like at amusement parks like downtown. They're like, "Hey, you're that guy from YouTube." It's happened like a few times, but like not really, you know. Yeah. Oh, in one second, <laughs> I'm changing my gosh darn game sounds because that was just weird. Minecraft. I think game mine are, sounds yeah. are playing. I don't know why, but they are okay. Uh, but yes, one of your voiceovers was a deeper thought, and I would like to yes bring that up a little bit later. Um. Yeah, for sure. Actually, let's. I'll just bring it up now because I felt like yeah, that, I think that was the main one. That was the one where you made the switch. I would say. That's the video. You don't see too many after. I no, there still was a few, but like uh -huh. starting with that, it was because that was that was right? March, right? That yeah. was like March, April I think time. May. So that was sort of when we stopped traveling. You know, like okay. when you couldn't really go anywhere. So I was sitting at home and I was like, I have all these thoughts on everything and like what people yeah. could be doing. And then I'm like, why not? Why not put it in a video? And then I just put like a bunch of stock footage over a voiceover. I think it came up. I thought cool. it a worked. Lot of people like that one. <laughs> I thought it worked. I I yeah. know one per another YouTuber Aperture. I think it. Uh -huh. They basically do that, where it's a lot of stock footage, and it's about mm -hmm. like that type of stuff. So like yeah, I'm, so like I'm, same same concept. Same concept, but like yours was focused on COVID. This is like a uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, placebo effect. Yeah, but, like different kind of things. Yeah, you know? I thought like that was exactly. that was really good. I it was interesting mm -hmm. to hear. I did notice that you did like a little bit of like Ontario traveling, but like that's not really traveling. <laughs> exactly. I went like downtown. I did a couple parks. I tried to do yeah. that because I was this summer. I was experimenting ways. That was before I decided like the productivity kind of way. Yeah. I was just sort of like, what can I do that's like sort of travel that's really searchable, you know? And I went to a yeah. couple of big locations around the city and tried to get those. And they did, they got views. But yeah, my issue does. with that was that those videos get views, but they don't get dedicated subscribers, exactly. right? So those aren't people yeah. that are going to come back and watch every video. That's the kind of like sustainability I want is so that I could have people coming back to watch videos no matter what it was because they're not necessarily watching the video like they come in for what the video is but then they stay for you and your personality right if that makes sense that just doesn't happen when you're making travel videos yeah like I, that as much yeah i never even thought about that but yeah that makes sense <laughs> mm -hmm. um and now oh also um yeah i just found that really interesting uh we're gonna move into coaster stuff in a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I just have a few more things, uh, more YouTube statistics-wise, but not exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So, for the next one, what do you enjoy about making your content? What's I believe you said that you're addicted yeah. to making content, because like, every time you're just like... I did make a video about that. I yeah. made a video called Guys, I'm Addicted, and I talked about how I'm addicted to making videos. And it's like, it, it's, it's a tricky rabbit hole, because once, like, I don't just love like making the videos i love i love I, I mean i don't just love the results i love making the videos themselves because like at like heart the whole time i've been a filmmaker right like that's what i love doing like i produce videos i take pictures and being able to just put that all in one spot and having people like being able to get immediate feedback of in the comments like wow i love this this helped me so much this is great and right it's really motivating now it's actually really motivating because yeah. Um, of the productivity stuff, it actually is doing something to people. It's not just entertaining them. It's actually helping them. It's giving them value. It's changing what they're doing. It's helping them get so much done. So that just adds a whole nother level of meaning. That just makes me like, oh, I want to get as much out as possible to help as many people as possible. Yeah, right? I have to say, you have one of the best comment sections I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure to reply to everything because if That's you take the time yeah. out of your day to comment on my video, I'm going to make sure I take the time to respond to you. So, what would you say is your target audience? Yeah, I'd say my target audience is definitely people probably from age, like, even age, like, 12 to maybe, like, 25. So, like, sort of the teen, the tween, teen, the tweens, teens, and young adults <laughs> area. Okay. Because I feel, I feel there's a lot of, like, social pressure, like, you know, play video games, yeah. just be addicted to doing certain things, you know, 
like do good in school, do your basic, do your very basic societal standard things. Yeah. And I feel that it's a very yeah. shapeable like age. Like obviously I can't say much because I am that age, but you know, like <laughs> it's also, it's very easy for me to relate to all these people that are suffering, not yeah. even, not even suffering. You know what I mean? Just like suffering and struggling with doing these things. Right. Yeah. It's very easy to relate because I was that like three months ago. Like I was in that, I was in yeah. a, like a two month span where I was like, oh what should i do and that's what really motivated me i'm like i don't like this i want to get things done i want to be productive i want to move my life ahead i want to get things done and i want to teach others how to do it right so everything i'm teaching people i'm learning as well right so like i'm not going to be perfect with everything i say i'm still learning you're still learning we're all learning together so i feel like it really builds the community as well in a way where we're all learning together right so that's something i love as well and also when you said going back to the comment section i love like when you guys comment your techniques and like ideas that you have, because I, I'm learning too, right? It's yeah. that simple. I, yeah, that's that's really honorable, honestly. I've been struggling with trying <laughs> to like have that movie, not motivation, to stay in focus, to get that pr productivity. It, it, it is motivation. It's, you need to yeah. you need to have the mentality where you want to do it, right? Like if you don't want to do it, yeah. it's much easier not to be motivated, not to care about what you're doing, just like get by than to actually go put the extra work in and get to where you want to be, right? Yeah. Like, and I mean, I want to hard. do good in school. Like, I want to. I mean, we're both student... Mm -hmm. We both were slash are student council presidents. <laughs> at at yeah. one point in time, one of your videos was the winning video. So that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. I did I did I post like, my student council yeah, election video. Yeah, I was video. like, I have to interview you now. There we go. We have <laughs> something even more in common. Common, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I find that yeah, it, yeah, that was really good of you to say like, hey, I'm learning this for myself, but I also want to allow other people to learn, and we're all learning. Honestly, yeah. I'm writing that down right now because I I'm honestly gonna make a video dedicated to talking about yes, that. Yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like just about how we're all learning together. That I'm gonna just put a note: we are all learning, learning together. together. So. Go, go, stay tuned to my channel for stay that tuned, video. Stay we'll tuned. talk about okay. that. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if you aren't already to subscribe to Tyler, uh, check him out. Links will be in the description. I'll put all yeah, of your social stuff. Yeah, go check stuff. it out. Maybe I, yeah, thank you. Maybe I can help you guys because that's the end goal, right? Is to sort of uh, change the way you guys think about everything. Yeah. Yeah, just to, like, help stay productive and everything. Yeah. Exactly. It's something that's useful for everyone. Even if you don't think it right now, it will be down the road. Trust me. <laughs> yep. Oh, when also, you get that, like, that, that mindset switch, you'll you'll realize. Yeah. Oh, also, um, I guess subscribe to me. I don't know. You might want to see more of these. So, yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> subscribe to the Phantom Plays. Yeah. Go right down below. Hit right. that subscribe button. Click the post notification bell. Turn on all mean... notifications on. You can do whatever you want with the notifications. Well, like I have, I have all post notifications turned on, so you guys should do it too. That's okay. called being productive. That I mean, that is fair. That is fair. Otherwise, you wouldn't get your videos. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, I've recently been subscribing to a lot more people. Uh, not just because yeah. of the interviews, but like, it's just like, oh, Captain Sparkles, like one of the ch leading people of our childhood. If you watch oh, yeah, Minecraft definitely. videos. I watch Stampy all the time. Yes, I want to interview him. Um, <laughs> now back to the... We had a brief intermission. Back to the questions. Um, <laughs> would you call yourself a full-time YouTuber? Well, I'm still... I'm, I'm, in, I'm in high school, so it's yeah. kind of hard to say, you know? Because it's, like, it's not like I'm taking time away from doing anything else to go to YouTube. Yeah. Because I think, like, when you say full-time YouTuber, you're sort of describing yourself as not working another job. Exactly. I mean, right? you're your head of your own main film income. company. Like, like, <laughs> like yeah, my, my main income is from YouTube, but that's, like, you know, one of my only income streams. <laughs> yeah. So, a little tricky question, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're it's, also... It's hard for us to answer. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you're also, like... You you have a film production thing, which yeah, that's that cool. that that's its whole other thing. That's sort of shaped the way I make videos. That's why a lot of people say, "Oh my god, how do you have such a high production value?" It's because I make videos, right? Yeah, I make videos in uh, commercial advertising and uh, products and stuff like that. And uh, it's called Kochi Productions. So KochiProductions dot com and on all socials. In the, uh, relax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, like, that's also, I'm, like, really interested in amusement parks. I grew my love for amusement parks through taking pictures of roller coasters all around the world. Yeah. Well, Canada and U.S. 
world, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love making videos. Yeah, and tell me about what would you say your biggest uh, gig is? The biggest thing that you've done? Yeah, so. Far? so I didn't really make a video because I was really busy working, but uh, last, when was it, last week Sunday, or this week? Oh, no, yeah, it was last weekend. Um, I filmed uh, TED Talks, so I filmed wow. nine TED Talks for TEDx. Nine? And uh, that nine, we filmed nine, I was, we were Whoa. shooting for nine hours straight, actually, minus lunch. Dang. But Dang. Uh, it, it was an intense day of filming. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Loved it. Really cool experience, like seeing the TED Talks live because wow. there's something I've watched for like five years, you know? Exactly. Okay, well, Seeing it all I'll go down to, live is pretty sick. You have to send me the links. I, I <laughs> when they go live, yeah, yeah. I that's they're all in post production right now. Yeah, that's so cool. Honestly, that is so. It was cool. awesome. Yeah. Was was that like uh -huh. one of your dreams? I, I honestly, I never even thought about the possibility of doing <laughs> it until they reached out to me. They reached right? out like, to you. Right, like it wasn't even something. Yeah, they reached wow. out to me. It wasn't even something I like put in the picture, right? But like, yeah, I got this email one day. I'm like, is this fake? <laughs> is this a scam email? Do Honestly, I have to do a scam I wouldn't YouTube wouldn't have been surprised. Thing? Yeah, am I gonna get kidnapped at this like studio? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh wow, that's just amazing that they reached out to you. Yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, you you know you're uh -huh. doing something really cool when people reach out to you for something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do most of the reaching out, but you know, yeah. your name starts to get around there. People find you from socials, right? Wow. It's pretty powerful. That is. Make sure you always put your best foot forward. Exactly. If you post something online, people will see it, whether uh, you think yeah. they do or not. That's why my only social is Discord and YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a fake Instagram account that my friend made, um, but I don't <laughs> use it at all. So. Yeah. I think he owns the account. So I, Yeah, it's okay. You know. <laughs> one day. One day you'll make your own Instagram account. One day one day I'll be like, okay. Okay, this is a good opportunity too. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Um Now this is an interesting question because I believe you've briefly mentioned in one of your videos. But uh, what are some of your influences? Yeah, so honestly my biggest influence is definitely so in terms of filmmaking in general has always been Casey Neistat. So if you see a lot of my videos, not the one from today actually, but a lot of my videos are styled as sort of like we talked about earlier, like the vlog style with the talking. Okay. And that's sort of something I picked up from watching his videos for the last like since 2015 basically for six oh, wow. years almost, <laughs> right? I've watched his vlogs since like since day one. Like not – I wouldn't like tune in every day to watch them yeah. until like the end, but I, I did, right? Like I did at a time. And I loved them because I loved how he was able to add his personal touch to it. And we like grew his, like his personality just grew on us and like kept growing and stuff. <laughs> but he was still able to give us this, you know, information. He also talked about a lot about not necessarily productivity, but like living a good life in general. And okay. that sort of goes hand in hand. Okay. Yeah. But like in terms of more of the productivity space, a couple of channels are like Thomas Frank, Al Ali Abal, like those guys, like the really big, you know, productivity and self growth channels. Okay. Nathaniel Drew, Gary Vaynerchuk for entrepreneurship. But like those guys, like, you know, the bit the, the pretty basic big channels if you search up productivity.